You're probably familiar with the major types of planets in our solar system. You know, there are some smaller, rocky planets and some giant gas planets. The rocky, or terrestrial ones, are closer to our star, the Sun, where it's much warmer, while the giant gas planets are farther out in the cold. But what about other planet systems we're finding out there among the stars? For the most part, they don't look a whole lot like ours. Turns out, there doesn't seem to be a typical arrangement for planetary systems. Yep, all planetary systems might be weird. Most other systems of planets are certainly arranged differently. Sure, there are lots of planets out there the size of Jupiter and Neptune and Earth, but their Jupiters and Neptunes can be way closer to their stars than ours. Some as close or closer than the orbit of Mercury. So scientists who study these exoplanets, planets outside our solar system, find themselves using terms like hot Jupiters and warm Neptunes. Plus, there's a whole range of exoplanet sizes, from much smaller than Earth to even bigger than Jupiter. To help describe what weight class each of these planets belongs to, we often refer back to the different planet types in our solar system using terms like mini-Neptunes and super-Earths or super-terrestrials. We're constantly learning more about exoplanets, and our ideas about them are changing as we go. Ideas about how these different planet types relate to each other, and what their variety can teach us about our own weird little solar system. 